Banks around the world are increasingly deserting coal projects, from mining to power plants. And the case is no different in India. Coal is after all the most polluting fossil fuel and the biggest contributor to climate change. India is currently constructing 34 gigawatt of new coal capacity on top of its existing fleet of 233 gigawatts. Notably, a recent study by independent climate change think tank E3G has found that since 2015, 326 gigawatts of proposed coal projects in India have seen cancellations, which means a 92% decrease in the pipeline. The economics are also not favourable towards building new coal plants, which means India's pre-construction pipeline of 21 gigawatts risks getting scrapped. India's renewable power tariffs are among the lowest in the world. It has seen a remarkable increase in the capacity addition of renewable energy generation led by solar and wind power in the past decade. Several power plants are said to be decommissioned in the coming years. Coal plants are normally decommissioned after the completion of their useful life, which could range anywhere from 25 to 45 years. Does this mean coal has a dim future in India? Not at all. India won't see a fall in coal demand for the next decade or so. Before we analyze what a fall in thermal power capacity means for coal usage, business standards Shreya J tells us why coal will remain our mainstay energy source in the medium term. India has decided to become a net carbon zero economy by 2070. But there are concerns on the rising usage and demand of coal in the country. Currently, 25% of India's installed capacity is met by renewable energy sources. And if you add large hydro in the mix, it touches 40%. But on the supply side, currently 70% of India's electricity demand is met through coal-based power even when thermal units are running at half of their capacity. Government's think tank Niti Aayog estimates that coal demand in India will peak by 2040 to 1.2 to 1.5 billion ton and thermal power will touch 250 gigawatt from currently 180 gigawatt. International Energy Agency has said that currently there is no other energy technology in, the, in India which can replace coal-based power. National Miner Coal India Limited has a production target of 1 billion ton for this current decade. Government's own estimates say that the future of coal is secure in the country for at least two decades. Unless there is a storage technology is available in the country for renewables and it is available for 24 hours, coal and thermal power is here to stay. The International Energy Agency estimates India's coal demand to grow 4% annually till at least 2024. And a report by Niti Aayog in December said that coal-based electricity generation capacity in India is likely to peak at about 250 gigawatts by the end of this decade, whereas coal-based electricity generation will slow down and likely peak a few years later. Amid such forecast, an expert panel set up by the think tank has proposed a scrappage policy for thermal power plants. Approximately 54 gigawatts of coal plants could be considered for retirement by 2030. What does this mean for India's coal demand and consumption? To answer this question, we have with us Madhura Joshi. So the global pipeline of proposed coal power plants has collapsed by 76% since the Paris Agreement in 2015. Uh, in India as well, we see that India is transitioning away from coal and uh, faster than what many would have thought possible. While some studies show a project, a project an increase in coal power capacity by 2030, other studies have shown that coal power just does not make economic sense in the Indian context. Um, there's an overcapacity in the system. News articles on expert committees formed by the Ministry of Power also seem to indicate uh, that the recommendations of the committee are to halt uh, new coal-based power plants from coming online and retiring inefficient coal power plants. However, when we look at coal mining or coal demand, basically from mines, that may still go up in the short run. This could be driven by higher use uh, from, uh, compared to the current levels from the existing power plants itself, because the current power plants are functioning at a lower capacity levels, as well as growth in non-power sectors such as iron and steel production, where alternative technologies are not available or not competitive in the short run. So essentially, while coal power plants and investments in coal power plants is likely to go down and is likely to move towards no new coal power, coal mining demand may increase in the short run based on electricity generation requirements as well as demands from other sectors. From basically 15, 20 years from now, I do see the share of coal drastically reducing in, uh, in India's electricity mix and uh, coal demand in 
absolute coal demand starting to decline in 2040. Uh, 2030 will be the peak and then in the 2030s to 40s there will be a decline in coal demand. What this means is that a reduction in thermal power generation capacity will not translate into lower coal consumption. Existing power plants are in a comfortable position to absorb the growth in coal demand over the medium term, which could also improve their efficiency. Since funding is hard to come by in the sector, new projects beyond those already under construction are unlikely to come up. This however will not mean that the end of coal is near, even though it will grow at a much slower pace than renewable power generation. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.